Shirley Phelps Roper from the Westboro Baptist Church is on the phone with us. Shirley has been a guest on the show before. Shirley, what's going on? It turns out we're not sure if Terry Jones is or isn't going to burn Korans on 9-11, which is tomorrow, but now you're saying your church will do it either way? Yes, we're going to do it. We've already got a plan at noon tomorrow, and not just the Koran, but an American flag. Terry Jones is an apologist, and uh, he needs to just put it away and call it good, because from the outset, there was no question that the outcome of his plans would be that he's not going to do anything that goes against the mob in doomed America, because he has no root within himself. He has no uh, staying power. He's got, he doesn't serve God. He serves himself and his idols. And but now, hold on a second. We actually, devices, we had, be able to stand up against the mob. we had Terry Jones on the show a few weeks ago when he was definitely going to be doing the Quran burning. He said, I, I, I would, I would think you like him because he doesn't like homosexuals. He doesn't like Jews. He said Jews are going to hell, which is something you've told me before. It sounds like Westboro and Terry Jones are on the same page in a, in a sense. Oh, you were so, we are so not on the same page. When we met them, first thing we learned was that the wife calls herself a preacher got all those women standing out there with their hair chopped off. And, um, you know, uh, worse and more, telling the people God loves everyone? Why is anyone going to hell if God loves everyone? So now what you're saying, Shirley, is that women, if they are true, what, Christians, they don't, they should have long hair? Is that what you're saying? If they're true Jews, if they're true anything. The Bible says, Paul said straight up, <laughs> that uh, the, ch- the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ has no custom of women cutting their hair. Okay. That's all. I don't want to get off track, though. Specifically with the yeah, Qur- that's okay. with the Quran burning, You, where are you going to get the Qurans? Well, hon, that's a very good question, and you'll love this answer. See, we've been sending out news releases over the years uh, when something happens that relates to the Muslims. You understand there's not a big Muslim push uh, for the abominations of doomed America in this country. Right, but so where will... come up all that often. Where will you get but the Qurans? They Qurans? are a false religious system, and this nation's destruction is imminent. So when they go down, <laughs> I know. and Obama gets his world kingdom set up, which won't take long, um, we're, we're preaching to the whole world, and the force of the world is Muslim. But, but Shirley, so where will you buy saying, your... So I'm saying, so what's your question? Where are you getting the Qurans you will burn? Are you going ah, to... Are you going so to... As we send out these news releases, our Muslim brethren in doomed America send us Qurans. It's kind of funny. So I have a whole stash of them that they sent me. And my dad has some. They send him some. And, and in fact, one of them is a nice big one. So we're probably going to use that nice big one for the public burning that will be at noon tomorrow at the church. Now, if the Secretary, if the Secretary of Defense calls you and asks you not to burn the Quran, what will you say? So first, he's not going to call us. He knows better. Second, we'd say, You're, the blood of all those youngsters is dripping off your hands, your policies, have put your children in the crosshairs of a raging mad God, what can we possibly do to make that worse or to add to that? Hmm. You know, it's funny. Our, our audience who has been with us for some time knows that you've called into the show before and you've told me that I'm going to hell and you've, uh, uh, you've, you've, called, you've well, talked you about furries. You don't have to go to hell if you'll repent. Well, hold on a second now. Hold on a second. You're not going to repent. I would think, knowing, of course, that God hates fags is kind of the trademark of the Westboro Baptist Church, I would think you would be in line with a lot of these hardcore Middle East Muslims who don't like homosexuals. I mean, they're talking about putting no. homosexuals to death. Isn't that, isn't that something you could get behind? I mean, I, why the big conflict between you and the Muslims? If, if, no, if neither because one of you... Because they... Look, Muhammad is a pedophile. Are you kidding me? Paul said if anyone comes preaching any gospel... By the way, he's called the Jew. He said if anyone comes preaching <laughs> any other gospel than this, let him be accursed. Right. Don't you get it? The Muslims have a job to do. It's amazing that the Lord God is going to have those ancient, brutish people. They're ancient. You know, the Muslims have been around for a while. I've heard. He's going to have them fulfill those ancient prophecies. Obama is going to get his Muslim army, and they are going to march on Jerusalem. They're the ones that are going to fulfill those prophecies. Do you care at all, Shirley, that burning Qurans could lead to more troops dying in the Middle East? Do you care about that at all? I say bull. Stop that lying. Stop throwing up straw men and then beating the crap out of them and trying to bind them around our neck. Why is Don't that so hard to believe? Don't ever dare say that obedience to God is going to cause anything. 
bad. It's only good. And if you would burn the Koran, and if this nation would get behind obedience to the to the Lord God who made them a superpower, their children would be a okay. Your your policies, your disobedience has killed your children. Don't you dare try to lay that at our feet and ask me if we're concerned about your straw man. Why is it always, from your point of view, God that's doing the hating and the killing? Isn't I thought Satan was the bad because guy. You never I talk about hate. Satan. It's a secret, but I'll share. I can read. <laughs> Get the Bible, dummy. It's not about my perspective. It's about what the words say. The words that are written in the book of the book of life and health and happiness, peace and safety that you hate. But surely, hold on. I thought I, God to the curb. Just hear me out. I thought God was the good guy and Satan the bad guy. But you only talk about God, God hating and killing and doing bad things. What about Satan? Uh, God sent Satan to, to trick your stupid, rebellious butt. Okay. If you love God and you served Him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, Satan wouldn't have any power over you. If <laughs> He says, "Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you." Right. That's what we do. We resist his goofy notions and his goofy onslaught of mischief. We resist it, and he flees from us. You know he doesn't what? have any home at Westboro Baptist Church no. because we resist him. You know, a lot of our, the way you do that is by putting on the armor of God, which is his word. You <laughs> believe. See, that's the problem with stupid, rebellious, doomed America. You don't believe God. You right. think God's a liar. Hey, you know, a lot of our audience is say, say, sending me emails and Twitter messages saying, Shirley's just upset that Terry Jones one-upped her, and that now she needs to take it up a notch yeah, to burn I, some Qurans. Is that, are you just jealous of Terry Jones, Shirley? You're so funny. You're so funny. And Terry Jones is going to hell with all the rest of you. Why would we be jealous of him? <laughs> Quit trying to attach your petty, uh, turf-fighting, uh, hating on each other, being envious and full of strife. Don't keep trying to apply that to us. You're above that. That doesn't drive our train. No. What we see, what we're, our job is to look at the landscape, see what's going on, and then tell you the stinking truth. Right. And you can try to apply motives to us until the cows come home. When your destruction is upon you, see if that comforts you. See if your ha, 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 we're going to say this and that about them, fixes anything for you. It will yeah. not, so get rid of it. Put hey, it away. So is there anything that anybody could do to get you to not burn these Qurans tomorrow on 9-11? Anything. I mean, just make it up. Is there not anything? A not a thing. Not a thing. Well, except for a national calling for a national day of repentance and meaning it. But you're not about to do that. This arrogant, rebellious nation isn't about to apologize to God. You're right. so holy in your eyes. Yeah, there's a good song we wrote. We've got all kinds of parodies, and you're going to love the latest one. It's about hey. Obama and his You're So Vain parody. Oh, I know all about that. But but in the last couple of minutes we have left, I got a, one email from someone. I guess a, a couple of people have picked up on the fact that in t inter TV interviews, a lot of the times, it looks like you don't blink at all. You just blink about once a minute. And people are wondering if you're on a specific type of medication or if you're just holding your eyes open. How do you do that? <laughs> well, every once in a while, it, not, not so much these days. But I used to have allergies, but as you get older, your allergies kind of burn out. Right. So I might take, um, you know, an allergy uh, med, but I really don't have to do that anymore. So, I've gotten old enough to where most of these things don't really have any impact on me. So you're just able to stare no, right into the I camera. I don't take meds. You don't need Instead to blink. I only blink once a minute. What the hell? Who counts that? Who's <laughs> That's called OCD. <laughs> Shirley Phelps Roper, Westboro Baptist Church. I think a little bit jealous of Pastor Terry Jones in the limelight as the yeah. crazy church guy. Uh, but Shirley I know Phelps Roper. Because we receive such little attention, we got to go looking for somebody else's. Doing everything, uh, right. everything on the map, and apparently burning Qurans tomorrow. I think it's a bad idea, but hey, we'll we'll follow up and we'll see what happens. Shirley, uh, we'll, we'll we'll keep an eye on it. All Thank right. you for we'll calling. We'll have me. a video of it on the website, so you just be sure and stay tuned. And what's the website? GodHatesFags.com. Okay, Shirley Phelps Roper, thank you for calling in. Thank you. Bye-bye.